was a request for something chilly, something from the far north. This is, this is a tale from the Inuit people. It is a beautiful tale. It's also a very harsh tale, as many of the northern stories are. I mean, it's a harsh land, but undeniably gorgeous. This one talks about Sedna. So she was a beautiful Inuit girl. And one day, she and her father went on a long voyage across the empty ocean, each with their own paddle, but sharing the same kayak. Now, in those days, the ocean had no life. It was just ice, blackness beneath the surface. And so their presence there attracted the attention. No, you have to stay behind the liners. <laughs> attracted the attention of a star that, it, that lived on the far horizon. <laughs> Now, storms love toys. It was not used to seeing things on the ocean, and seeing this little boat, it got intrigued. It came, it started to swirl around the ocean, raising the waves around this new toy. Well, sensing their danger, Sedna and her father turned to the boat and made for the safety of the far harbor. Well, Sedna put all of her strength behind every stroke of the paddle, but her father was cowardly and craven. He looked back. He thought to himself, his boat would go faster, it was lighter. So without warning, he reached out, he grabbed his daughter, and he threw her into the icy deep. Now that could have been the end of the tale, but it wasn't. Sedna had such a great heart, she swam behind the boat and grabbed a hold. He wouldn't let it advance. Her father panicked, he grabbed the paddle, he started to hit her fingers to make them release, but she refused. <laughs> She wouldn't have let go, except finally the terrible cold turned her fingers into clear icicles. And with one tap, the ice shattered. She fell fingerless down, down into the deep, with these little shards of ice to her <clears throat> Now that could have been the end of the tale, but it wasn't. Zedna had such a great heart. She looked around herself in the empty blackness and thought, if this seems to be my new home, I don't want to be alone. So with a force of will, she turned each one of those fingers into a new animal that had never existed before. They became the first whales, walruses, seals, all the creatures that still happily live with her in the deep end. Sedna roamed the deep, the cold forgotten deep. No one wants to be alone. Sedna roamed the deep, the cold forgotten deep. No one wants to be alone. From her hands they fell, children of the ocean swell, with ice's twinkle given sight. She offered them a name, and seals they all became, and laughing to the coat. Daughters, they can. 